Hello and Happy New Year. My name is Sandy. This is the Sister Cousins Lifestyle Channel. And as you can see from the title, I have a massive haul today. I did a video a few weeks ago, or not a few weeks, a few days ago, and I shared some things that I had picked up at Hobby Lobby. And I knew I'd probably pick up a few more things. It's actually a few more than a few more things. <laughs> Have a seat, get your tea, get your juice, whatever it is that you want to sip on while you enjoy this video. But as soon as you get done enjoying this video, run to Hobby Lobby, run to Walmart because the sales are amazing. Let me show you what I picked up. Look at this. It's a bit ridiculous, but when they say 90% off, 75% off even, I am there. This is the time to shop. So the first thing I picked up is this stand here. And this is from Hobby Lobby. This is by Robert Stanley. This was originally $47.99 and it was on sale 90% off. So basically $5 for this piece. Now admittedly, $47.99 was very, very high. And I would even argue that $5 is what it should have been anyway. But I digress. That's what it is. It's beautiful. I love it. I wish I could have gotten three. It's like a snowflake. Snowflake. Very, very pretty. And that's the base that's on it. It's pretty, you know, pretty much lightweight, but it's it's sturdy enough that it'll stand. Nice piece. Now, next from Hobby Lobby, I picked up a couple of tree skirts. This one. Um, I picked up because I really like this print in here and the other side of it is kind of burgundy and I was thinking when I picked it up that I may be able to use it on the other side. And as I mentioned in my last video, burgundy is going to be one of the colors that I am planning to use for 2023. So when I saw this, I really, really thought that this would work out perfectly for that. This was regularly $3.99, so basically $4 for this tree skirt. Um, keeping with my little snowflake theme here, I saw this uh, table runner, thought it was really cute for $10.99. Uh, um, so this would basically have been just a little over a dollar. Um, really cute, just a, just a table runner, very narrow table runner to put and I will probably use it under like a vignette or something like that, maybe on my countertops, but it's, it's really cute and it's got the little shimmers in it, so it's nice. And it's also from Robert Stanley. Now, when I shop after Christmas sales, I have three goals in mind. One is to look for items that I'm adding to like a collection that I've used. So you're gonna see some of the green items I brought in green this year. I had also had on that same tree a music theme. So I was looking for things like that to kind of build on a collection that I already have. Two, I look for items that I'm going to use for the upcoming year. So I'm bringing in the burgundy. So I was seeking out burgundies. And then the third thing that I look for are items that are not Christmas specific. I love finding items on a deep clearance that I can use year round or at least a couple seasons throughout the year. So this next item is an example of that. And they are these silver napkins and they're kind of the velvet um, material. So I wouldn't be able to use them beyond the Christmas season, but I certainly could use them fall leading into the um, winter season. So fall, Christmas, and then, you know, beyond Christmas for winter or whatever, I could use them. But they're this really pretty, kind of a gray, silverish gray color. And these were um, 90 cents. So a great deal a piece, 90 cents a piece for these napkins. And they're really pretty. I really, really like um, the fabric. So I can just kind of imagine them on a tablescape, a glam tablescape or whatever. Love them. Now I picked up a couple more table runners. This one was $48.99. Um, so this would have been like five bucks for this one. And it's that red and it's in that sweater material. So this for me is not limited to Christmas. I will certainly use this for a Valentine's Day tablescape um, as well. And again, this is something you can start using in the fall and can use it straight through, I would say Valentine's Day. But it's very pretty with the sweater material. And then... Similarly, this one is a red uh, tablescape. This is more of a orangey red, 
Um, so I like that as well about it. And I would actually use this right into spring. This one would have been uh, $25.99. And it's got the little tassels on it. But again, it's a table runner and it's like that faux silk material. So I would use this well into spring. So this is another tree skirt that I picked up for next year. I know that one of my trees next year is going to have kind of like a snowflake polar bear <laughs> theme. I'm going for my winter wonderland. So I'm going to be using whites and silver. So I thought this tree skirt would be perfect. This is um, regularly $53.99. So just over $5 for this. And it's beautiful. It's soft and very, very thick. It's got kind of like that flannel type up under it, but it's cute. It's really, really cute and perfect for a winter wonderland theme. These are some placemats and these too can be used throughout the year. Anytime you're doing a glam tablescape, they're black and they've got that shimmer in them. They're kind of holiday-ish, but I would certainly do a glam tablescape anytime and use these. And they were $3.99 each. So um, great deal for these. Great, great deal. I picked up these tea towels here. They were regularly $8.99 and they just say Merry Christmas on them. So I picked up two of those. Certainly something I could have made with my Cricut machine, but for um, 90 cents, hey, why not buy them, right? <laughs> Very cute. Now these items I picked up for my daughter-in-law. This is a snowman. It's a cookie jar and I thought it was too, too cute and a great price. I was at Hobby Lobby and I was texting my daughter-in-law, Hobby Lobby has 90% off, you need to get here. But she didn't respond right away and I noticed she doesn't test, te check her text too often. So I saw these and I said, I can't let her miss these. So I did pick up a few things for her. So I got these little um, like espresso cups uh, that she can use on her coffee station for next year. And I got a set of eight of those and then the snowman um, cookie jar. Thought that was so cute. I also picked up this uh, little snowman for her as well. And this is like the um, advent calendar here. So I thought that she would enjoy this too. It's got like a little magnet on it. So super cute. And he was regularly $11.99. Um, yeah, so $1.20 basically. And then I picked up this hot chocolate bar sign here for her as well. And this was... I can't even see that. It's not focusing but hopefully you can see it. <laughs> yeah, so I thought that was nice for her. And she did end up going to Hobby Lobby, but I don't know what she picked up. So hopefully she didn't pick up any of these dupes. <laughs> now this bag here has uh, these bells and these are place card holders for when you set your table. I thought they were really cute. And normally I would not have bought anything like this, but these are that burgundy color that I know I wanna use next year. And also for the price, I couldn't leave them. 40 cents each for these. Super cute. So I did pick up four of those. And the jingle bells. <laughs> and then I got um, the napkin rings. So they had these um, bells in the gold, but these are napkin rings. And they were... $2.99 each. So basically uh, 30 cents for these a piece. So I did pick up a set of uh, four. Then they had these napkin rings that are the little jingle bells as well. 40 cents each. I picked up four of those. I picked up some um, ornament ties because you can never have too many of these. And these were also a great price and I love them in the gold. So I picked up a couple packs of those. I picked up some hooks too. This is a great time to buy that kind of stuff. They're not super expensive for a price, but it's even better when you get them for 40, 50 cents a bag, right? So these are the other um, napkin rings. And then I picked up these cowbells, these antique looking cowbells. These were the last two here. And this lady saw them in my basket. She was like, oh, where did you get them? I'm like, they were the last two, sorry. 
But yeah, 60 cents for that. All right, I had to stop the video. My son just stopped by for something unrelated. So I sent him home with all the snowman themed items. So that is out of the way now. <laughs> so um, I don't know if I finished talking about these, but these cowbells, they only had two of them. And I really have been admiring these for a long time. I wish they had been larger. But anyway, I got two of them and they were uh, 60 cents each. I picked up a couple of these little trees. Now these kind of look acrylic, but they're actually plastic, but they would look really pretty in like a vignette at nighttime. They light up, um, so you put your battery in them. Um, they would have been $11.99 each, so basically $1.20 um, for these. And I thought that that was cute with the little star on them. So that's it lit up. That looks cute. Like in a night scene, that would be so pretty. So I did pick up um, two of those. And that's what it looks like. Aren't those cute? Very, very lightweight. Like I said, they are plastic. I love them. So since I'm right here, I'm going to show you these. I've really been on this deer theme. I love the antlers and everything. So I've got a bunch of stag heads that I bought for next year. But I got these in the white because, like I said, I know I'm going to be doing a white tree um, next year. Or at least that's the plan, Lord willing. I have seen so many people with the polar bears for Christmas, and I just fell in love with them. And I said I was going to be on the hunt for some this um, year after Christmas. But this, this little dude has a problem. His head has been busted, and I'm just not noticing it. I don't know if I did it or if it was already done, but we're going to roll with him. We're going to try to fix him, actually. I could probably put some um, clay in there. We'll fix him, and I was going to paint him anyway to make him more of a solid white to take that rustic look out of him. But... Um, he was $38.99, so basically four bucks for him, but we're gonna fix him up. You'll see him next year. All right, in here, I've got some more um, ornaments. I said I was into those stag heads, and in my last haul, I had picked up a couple boxes of these um, deer, but after, that was at 75% off, and they went back and they still had a box at 90% off, so I got them. I love these, those are so nice. And then I got some more polar bears. These are ornaments. I like those as well. So I got three. Uh-oh, Lord have mercy. They gonna have busted heads. Sorry, guys. I got three boxes of those. I got some more of those antlers. We're gonna see how this all come together uh, <laughs> for next year. And then, as I said, I'm going with the burgundy. I didn't find a whole lot of burgundy ornaments, but I did find these hearts. So I did pick up a couple boxes of these. And these were $15.99, so $1.60 for um, a box of four. So I didn't think that that was bad. Hobby Lobby had a ton of these trees left. And so I did pick up a couple of these. And what I like about these little trees is that they light up. See that, the little twinkle on there? So I thought they were nice and they're in the stand here. And they're cute, they're like frosted trees. Sorry about the rustling. But they have the little snow frost on them and a few little pine cones, super cute with the lights on them and this was um five dollars and thirty cents for this one and this is the tallest one that i got i only picked up two of this type the other one i have to find it is here in one of these bags this ain't it but i'll show this in some here. It is a reindeer, and it's kind of made out of that um, ooh, brain freeze here. But let's just say he's on the rustic side, but he is super, super cute, and he's flocked, and I really, really like the way that he looked. They only had one, and um, he was 50 bucks, so I got him for $5. 
cute, right? For my white tree for next year, I picked up these uh, garland. It's a ball of garlands, and I picked up a couple of them. These were $2 a piece for these garlands, but I thought that would be a great touch. And some of the bulbs on there are kind of ornate, and some are iridescent. So I thought that would be a nice touch for an all-white tree. All right, so I found the other tree to go with this one. And this is, again, the one that I said was a little bit smaller, but it lights up as well. And I thought that these would be really cute by um, my fireplace console or something like that. We'll figure that out next year. But this one was $36.99. So great deal for both of these for well under $10. Now, I picked up these silver trees here, and this is another example of something that I can use throughout the winter season. Um, I really liked these, and these were $29.99 um, a piece. So, um, well, for the large one, and then this one was $16.99. So, $1.70. Um, for this one and $3 for the larger one. But I can definitely use them like now for the winter. And I'm going lighter for the winter. I think I want like winter whites and creams and silvers. And so um, I'm probably gonna be using these right away. So these items here are rose gold. And if you've been watching my channel, you know I did one of my trees in rose gold and black this year. So this was an example of adding to a collection I already have. These say Believe. And it is a set of three, which was really nice, uh, for 59 cents, 60 cents for a set of three that say Believe. And then I got another set of three that say Noel. And then I got a set of two that says Merry Christmas. So those will be added to my rose gold uh, tree. Whenever I use my rose gold again, I will have that. Woo! That was it for Hobby Lobby. Let's move on over to Walmart. So Walmart now is 75% off. And so I did pick up some more red bulbs. I always use red bulbs for something, so I can never have too many of these. So these were 75% off of the $4.98 price tag. And what I like about these are they kind of have that satin look to them, so not those glossy bulbs, which I tend not to really like. Love the color of these, and it's more of a deeper red color. So very pretty. And then these are my uh, blue bulbs. And I have a collection of blue bulbs that I actually used this year at my mom's home. So I added to that collection again. These were $4.98. And that's such a pretty color blue. Very pretty. So I just got two of those. And then this was just a random buy. Since I did bring in the green this year. And I know I do want to bring that back. Um, for next year, I got these little bows. And um, I may end up using these like on my deer or something like that, or maybe even in the tree, not really sure. But this little set of six was only $2.68. And these are by far my favorite thing that I found at Walmart. And I don't know if you can see them. I hope the glare is doing them justice, but it's a set of, it's supposed to be 28 ornaments in here. That remains to be seen. You know, Walmart, my Walmart especially, they are famous for going in and stuff is missing out of boxes. But anyway, <laughs> hopefully they're all here. But these are all colors that I use in my home for Christmas. So I've got my gold, I've got my burgundy that I know I'm bringing in next year. And then they've got the blue that I already had in my collection. So I'll separate these and put them in the bins uh, that they go in. And I'm going to try to get you a better look because this glare is not doing them justice. I can see that. Look at these. Little, I guess they're gnomes or something, which I typically don't do. But I love the colors of these. And then the little toy soldier or nutcracker whatever this thing is. But yeah, the colors I love. Very rich colors. So um, they were basically uh, $7.50 for this box of 
what remains to be seen, 28 ornaments. <laughs> not bad, not bad. And the little gold as well. And then the last thing that I picked up at Walmart is I added to my music instrument theme and I got a couple of more of these gold uh, drums that I used on my Christmas tree this year. Uh, these were regularly $3.98 and they were 75% off. They only had two, so I picked them up. Okay, I lied. One more thing from Walmart. I got this wreath and normally I don't buy a wreath like this. This is pretty simple to make, but I just thought it was gorgeous, gorgeous, gorgeous. And for the price, I couldn't have made it any cheaper. So it was 75% off, but very, very pretty. And I tend to really, really like this red and this shade of green on the outside of my home. I've used it um, for many years, actually. These are the colors that I use outside, love them. So now we're hopping over here to Michael's and they had these trees, which I have always wanted. These are the pre-lit branches. It's by the Ashland brand. Um, but this is, they had these on sale and I don't remember, it was regularly $24.99. I believe Michael's was 70% off, but I picked up two of these. Um, actually, I picked up three of these. I don't know why I picked up three of these. So um, one of these may be going back. I always do that online shopping and then the curbside pickup at Michael's. I love that, it's so convenient, but anyway. And then I picked up these, and this is a perfect example of something that I would use year-round. So this was, it said it was magnolia leaf. It don't really look like a magnolia leaf to me, but they're pretty. I love them, and I definitely will be using these real, real soon. And they were in the Christmas season. I'm trying to see if they say magnolia. I'm pretty sure that's what I saw online. But super cute. I picked up two stems of those. So I will be putting those in a vase. Like I said, I'm going light for Christmas. I mean, for the fall season. And then I picked up this. I actually thought this was bigger. <laughs> um, so I really should have gotten more than one of these and less of the ones with the trees. But we're, we're going to figure out how we're going to make it work. But this was cute. I really like this. This would be really nice in a vase as well. And you can see the little bit of um, kind of frost on them. So they're perfect for the winter season. And I would begin to use these in the fall and use them straight through winter. And they were $9.99 and then 70, 75% off. So also at Michael's, uh, their flowers were on sale. And so... I know that I'm going to need, if I don't tear them up on the in-between, trying to film with one hand and hold the camera is not the smartest thing to do. Um, but yeah, this is what these look like. I thought these were so pretty and um, they were on sale. I think they ended up being $2 each or something like that. Don't quote me on that, but they were nothing like they would have been um, you know, next year and regular price or whatever. And they are gorgeous with that gold. So this is the burgundy color that I want to find, you know, the ornaments and things like that. So I was thinking ahead and that's what, um, let me throwing them all around. <laughs> yes, I picked up all that they had and I believe it was four of them. So it was actually five of them and they may be coming off as red on here, but they are more of a burgundy color or at least what I'm calling burgundy. We could argue that I may be a little bit colorblind, um, but they look burgundy to me. I also picked up two in the black and gold and those are signature colors. I will always have black and gold in my home. So these will always have a place here. So I picked up two of those and these are really pretty nice size too and nice long stems. So I got two of those and then I just have a couple more things from Michael's and it's all here in this little bag. I got these um, berries, cranberries, uh, base filler for next year. And again, I see these as burgundy. <laughs> So they will be going along with my theme for next year. And I got um, several bags of those. 
sorry for the ruffling bags. And then these finial bulbs. I love these, love these, love these, but I could never find them. But today they had them. And so for my white um, winter wonderland tree that I'm uh, planning for for next year, these will also be in that tree. So I picked up um, four of these and they had them in, this is like the silver with the white. And then they also had them with the the all white. So I did get two of each of those and I think they're really pretty and they'll look really pretty in a tree. And then I picked up this, which is actually a little craft kit for my granddaughter. She loves crafts, so I just got her this. And it doesn't matter that Christmas is over, she'll love it. <laughs> and then I picked this up. This is a little um, cottage or little gingerbread house type of situation and it comes with the paint so she can paint this. She'll spend hours doing this. So this was more for me than for her. <laughs> now we have a Christmas tree shop around here. It's called Peppermint Forest or something like that. And I usually go in there at the beginning of the season to try to see what I can find and just get a couple signature pieces. But I did pop in there right after Christmas because everything goes on sale. And they had these poinsettias. Now this was days before I went to Michael's and found the ones that I found at a much cheaper price. Uh, these definitely look a little bit more, you know, exclusive than the ones from Michael's and I'm going to hold them up side by side so that you can see but I did pick up two of these and these were $4.50 a piece there and I think I paid two dollars for the ones at Michael's but I'm going to try to hold them up so that you can see the difference so this is the one from Michael's and it's definitely smaller but the color is very very close and they're trimmed in the gold so I think they will pair very, very nicely together. But these are the ones from Michael's and these are the ones from um, the Christmas store. Gorgeous. So I did pick up um, three from that store. And then um, I had picked up one of the green ones. I picked up several of the green ones at the beginning of the season that were on my tree for this year. So I did pick up one more to add to that collection at the $4.50 price. So now I've got to reopen my bin because I said I was starting my collection of my burgundy items and I'm keeping them all together so that next year when it's time to begin decorating, I have everything where it's supposed to be and I know what I already have. I hope you enjoyed today's video and if you did please don't leave without giving me a thumbs up and also hit that subscribe button if you're not currently subscribed i would love to have you as a part of my youtube family and for all of my returning family members thanks so much for stopping back by and i hope to see you all over here on my next one bye bye